Hey guys, how you doing today? It's me, Kelly. So I'm gonna do, got a lot of requests, a lot of clay requests. So I got quite a few videos coming up. Today we're gonna do Makume Gane. And I hope I'm saying that right. And what that entails is you want three different colors. Um, you can do, I mean, you can do more colors if you want. I'm just gonna do three to show you the technique. Um, and one's gonna be silver, black, and then green. And I have my blade here, and as you can see, a lot of blades don't come with handles. Some do, some don't. Uh, none of mine have handles, so I just threw on some extra canes that I had and baked it so I know which end is up, because <laughs> we need to know that. Um, and then I don't cut myself, because I was forever grabbing the blade part, and so this works for me. And you can be fancy. You can do it the whole uh, thing of the, the blade. You can do the handles. It, it doesn't matter. You could do it pretty colors. It doesn't matter to me. I'm just using it so I don't keep slicing because it's a tissue blade. It slices. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to take my three pieces of clay and I'm going to put green and I'm going to cut around it, cut my black around it. So I'm not being wasteful. I'm going to set that aside because I'll use that in another there's several ways you can do this. So I'm going to, I'm going to show you my way and I'm using the, um, tile underneath. So I don't cut my mat, but you, you know, I, I sometimes don't <laughs> I just do it whatever way I want. I think I'm going to flip this this way. Okay. So I'm just going to put these three colors on each other and I'm going to lift it up and I'm going to put it through my pasta maker, which might be upside down for you guys. But it's right there. Let's see if you guys can see it. Kind of weird, I know, but um, I just want to show you. I'm just putting it through here. Okay. Now I'm going to take it and I'm going to move my camera down. A little fanciness. And I'm going to cut it into different pieces. So I'm going to cut it this way. And this way. And then I'm going to layer it. I'm not going to care that they're not matching or anything. I'm going to layer it on top the same way each time. So silver will be on top. And then I'm going to push it down with my hands. You want it pushed down good. You want to push it, push it real good because you want those layers to come in to play. Now, what's fun with clay is that you can manipulate it a little bit. So you can see it's kind of like weird and, you know, different sizes. So I'm just going to kind of take my hands, which I do this with all the clay I do, even with when I do canes. And I'm just going to keep pushing it down and just keep pushing it back. And if it gets a little folded, it doesn't matter. You just want to condense it a bit. So we're making it tighter and more design and then push it back down again. Okay. All right. Very easy to do with three colors. You can do it with two colors too. Um, but you know, obviously you won't get all the great color that comes in. So now what you can do is I just want to make sure I'm trying to get all the bubbles out. There we go push that a little bit more. Okay. So now what you can do is you could take another color. Um, maybe I'll just, maybe I'll use white. Do I want to use white? Maybe I'll just use pink. I'm just going to take this pink one that I did the other day. I'm just going to roll it into a, to a tube and I'm going to take the back of my pencil and I'm going to poke it in, in different places. No rhyme or reason. I'm going to take some of this and I'm going to fill that hole up, push it down. And push it down. Push it down. And then I can kind of skim off the top of that pink if I want it to be a little less on there. 
It doesn't matter though. Okay. Now let's see. I'm going to cut it. And you get this great pattern. All the great lines and all that. Now, that's the first way you can do it. So you can continue cutting and do all that. Something else you can do, and what the pink does, if you can see, I mean, I only cut the edge of that. It just brings some more color in. So if we cut, if I cut here, let's say, I can always put it back together. You can see the deeper you get the pink in there, it just adds more. So you could put tons of those in. You don't necessarily want to do that right now. So I'm going to kind of put it back together. But this is definitely one way you can do it. And then you can use your uh, fingers or your roller. Let me show you what you get. Okay. So then you see. Lift it up. Now spray water if things stick. It's warm here today. It's one of the warmest days. Schools are letting out early today because it's so warm here. I got my air on, but. Sometimes that don't help, but this is great because if you want to make a bead and let's say you only have yucky color left, right? Everything has gone together and it's, you know, don't throw those away, roll them into a bead. And then you can take pieces of this and roll it and cover your bead and you get A really pretty bead so you can do that so nothing goes to waste now the next thing real quick is to give it texture and um, you can use a any kind of stamp that you have I swear I just had a stamp here I'll use this I'm just gonna use this for texture but what you do is you push it really good down on the bottom into what you into your clay, pick it up again. You can see that, but any kind of texture tool or whatever you have, you can see I'm improvising because I, mine must've rolled under the, the table there. I must've dropped. It must've been what fell off. Okay. So you can see these and you can go and put different kinds in wherever you want. Then take your knife, your blade and lightly go and take small tops off and look how cool you get these different pieces and you want it very skim and you get look look how cute and you can see underneath and these little pieces don't throw away you just put on you can see underneath as I'm doing it, how things get pushed in there. So if I did it even, let me see if I have, if you do it even harder, which why I didn't, I'm looking, I'm looking for my stuff. Okay. We'll do this. Cause I can get good. This is just a stamp. And what I'm going to do is I'm going to push it in. I want it deep. You see how deep I'm getting it. And see see how deep that's the ledge right here and I'm really pushing down okay now let's cut a piece off easier if it's uh, cold so you could throw it into the freezer again which I highly recommend and just take a piece off and look how cool. And you can see from pushing down, it just kind of makes them move and oh, just fun. Okay. And then I'll do here and I'm just going to keep peeling up pieces of it. I mean, this is how easy it is. You can go as deep as you want. You can go in and out. 
you can use a different kind of blade if you have different blades the uh crinkle one and all that will make different designs for you as well and you just keep taking pieces up now think about using these in so many different ways to make beads to cover old clay for beads to cover old glass beads that you might not like but you want to make you know you can still bake them you can uh, use these in your mixed media as their dresses and all i've done all that it's fantastic maybe i'll do another one with these and show you but then you get i mean look at that this piece right here is delicious just like this but you can keep you know you could keep taking pieces off it never hurts just adds more Oh, let's stick in there. Just adds more to it. But you can see where you stuck your uh, stuff. Now you're not going to see the pumpkins or anything like that. It's just going to kind of meld all that uh, clay together into different shapes. And look how cool the pink looks in there. So this is so much fun. I hope that you guys try this. This is two different ways to do it. Um, I have a couple more coming up. But I wanted to do a quick video on this uh, for you guys who have requested it. I'm trying to go over all my videos and, you know, update them and a little quicker. And I know better now <laughs> on how to video and all that. So this is it. Three colors, black, green, and that's pink and black. So like I said, you can really have so much fun doing this and using them in your mixed media art, in your doll art, in whatever kind of art you want. Now I'm going to be using these for my witch, which I'm going to have a video coming up about that. Um, I'm going to just keep peeling pieces off and then I'm going to build a uh, dress on her around a bottle that I have. And I will talk about that, but I mean, look at this, how fun. I'm just going to peel it off and you can push it back down, you know, if it has a little ridge or you want to take your roller and give it a roll, but you see, you get these great, oh, this is so exciting to me. I don't know why this is so satisfying to me, but it is. So this is another way. I hope you guys enjoy it. Give me a thumbs up if you like watching these. Any questions, as always, you can hit me up on knitting and things at netzero.com, Facebook, Instagram, Twitter, Pinterest, Google Plus, my email, Everywhere, all you have to do is ask or ask down below in the comments. I love you guys so very much. Let me know what you guys think. And if you try it, send me your stuff, your pictures. And I will see you guys in the next clay video. Bye, guys.